Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time we finished up everything around the Koopa Village area, and now... Before we leave, I thought we could listen to the song they're playing on the radio. Uh, they didn't have David Bowie, so let's listen to the information station instead. But moving on, folks. Ta da da! Um, attention, listeners, because here's your chance to win big! Anyone who takes a Koopa leaf to the front of the main gate in Toad Town will receive a surprise gift! Right in front of the main gate, there will be a Toad who looks a bit eccentric. Hand the Koopa leaf to him. That's right, folks, you heard me right! The big gate on the west side of Toad Town, that's the one! You've got only five minutes! Hurry up, everyone! Let the game begin! Let's go! I got a Koopa leaf and everything! Man, I do not have a lot of items. We're gonna need to remedy that. Let's -a go! I have avoided every battle along the way. I'm doing great. We're making good time. And hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Uh, uh I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Yes! Uh, now's not a good time for this. I'm kind of in a hurry. I wanna win the radio station jackpot. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge a you? He's gotta be kidding. Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me. Uh, nah. What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. The name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. <laughs> After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Okay. Get ready to hurt Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. Okay, well, starting it off, let's bring out Goombario. He never got a chance to tattle Junior Troopa before. Really should have had him out in the first place. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. Ooh, Goombario getting in on the dunking He's got defense, he's got attack. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now, I think. I really hope so, because I got a radio jackpot to cash in. Pop. Okay, well, you do one damage. Oh, I don't have any FP. That's kind of bad, actually. Um, I don't have my Thunderbolt, either. I gotta just old-fashioned this. Huh. I was using up my FP on the way to make things go faster. Ouch! Who knew Mario had such battle skills? Yeah, it's not over yet, though. Yeah! Mario can't do anything, so I guess we'll take Bombette. What I'd like to do is show off our new star spirit power that we heard about that I didn't want to have explained to us by the man himself. We can recover HP and FP by five, and it also cures poisoning and shrink. The status healing is something that, as a kid, I never really thought about, and I tended to not summon uh, Eldstar that much as a result. But yeah, Mario's a summoner now. He can get some help from some outside abilities. It's pretty cool. Now that we got some more FP, bow, four damage. Looking good. And I think I'll go for a power jump right here because we can't really afford another bomb, unfortunately. We are making some pretty good headway, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. I sort of wish I had my Thunderbolt on me for such a situation where I didn't have FP for this guy. Pow. Alternatively, we can use Mario's turn to focus to charge up our star power. By default, I think this gives one half. Yes, one half of a star power. It naturally will go up in time by itself, just from um, just from our turn coming around again. But if there is no better use of a turn, that's a good amount of star power to get back by comparison. And not quite enough for another attack, unfortunately. Just go for this. Pound block would do two, so if I need to bridge a little bit of damage next turn, I know what to do. There it goes. Looks like we're fine. There it is. Uh, I'll do refresh, why not? <laughs> I'll just have Bombette finish him with a bomb to add insult to injury. Oh boy, this animation sure is long. Eldstar, could you hurry it up a little bit, man? I'm starting to get a little nervous that I'm not gonna make it in time. Go, 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 go! Boom! Womp, 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 womp. 
<laughs> His foot's twitching. Not quite a level up, sadly. I thought for sure we were gonna get that. Ah! Ah! That's Junior Trooper. He used to he used to boot us out of the forest near Goomba Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. <laughs> what? How is that a hobby? I, I, I guess mail ordering wasn't as common in 1999. Mario, this is not a good time, Twink. No. <laughs> Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink, remember me? Oh, right, you. I'm so bad at remembering names these days. I heard you saved the honorable star spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way? <laughs> well... But enough to celebration now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the star spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get this to you and get you this clue, Mario. If I find out, if we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. He's so cute, and I like how Princess Peach actually gets to help and not just be a useless sack of batteries like she usually is. I, I like that. Peach is normally not one of my favorite Mario characters by any stretch of the imagination. Ah, no more, no! Too bad. So, if this guy is in the room, and he tells you you're out of time, it means that you got in the room with enough time, but you didn't talk to him with enough time. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Uh. I'm too impressed to be mad. <laughs> Ordering stuff by mail is his hobby. <laughs> I'm just giggling about that now that we're going through here again and I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, with how much it's making me giggle now, it was worth losing that contest. It's not that far of a walk back anyway, it's fine. <laughs> I am one star point away from leveling up! Whoever I ran into, oh gosh, uh, right, the Koopa Leaf, crap, I was actually racing back, I was doing fights along the way, no, I forgot! Gosh, my... I've noticed as I've gotten older, there's been more situations where I'm like, wait, what was I doing again? That's only gonna get more common with time, isn't it? That's scary, oh no. Hello, I'm the Toad of the Trading Event, how are you? Did you bring the item? Uh, yes. Congratulations! This is the item for today. Maple syrup. Use it wisely. See you again at the next trading event. Some people believe that Pink Toad to be the precursor to Toadette. She did not make her first real appearance until Mario Kart Double Dash a few years later. This is the closest thing to Toadette that we had at this point in time. I'm gonna go back to Mario's house. Oh, no, 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 no. Luigi's having fun and I must ruin it. What can I say? I'm a man of my word. Hi, Mario. I figure I'll have an adventure sooner or later, so I'm training. You know, rock sitting. Gotta train those glutes. What's that? Dry, dry desert. Oh, sure. There's a town that goes straight there from Toad Down. Hey, maybe I'll tag along. No, are you sure? Just give me a chance. It bothered me so much that he couldn't come with, but uh, it, no. I'd say actually it bothers me more now than it did back then, though, because back then I didn't really know much about Luigi. Uh, all right, so we got letters from Mario. We have Little T. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T, I'm just a little tote. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write you again later, bye. Vanity. Get it? Chuck Quizmo's lovely assistant. She's both Vanity and also a reference to Vanna White. I love that name. That might be my favorite of all Toad names. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are through the roof. Are the star pieces helping you? Please keep coming back until you answer the last question. I'll cheer you on. Vanity. Koopa Bros. You rat Mario. How dare you embarrass us? I'll never forget what you did. Red. Hey, watch your back when you slot when you walk at night. Black. I'm gonna make you cry. Green. 
You'd better sleep with one eye open, pal. Yellow. We shall return, Koopa Bros. I've avoided mentioning it up to this point because I don't want to talk about it too much, but there's this fan project called uh, that's Paper Mario badly translated. It's called Book of Mario, and I can't hold it in anymore. There's so many good things that are in that. Um, in that letter from the Koopa Bros, Yellow, instead of saying, you should sleep with one eye open, he says, I slept with your best friend, <laughs> which is such a good comeback for him losing to you. Ugh. I just, I can't hold it in anymore. I had to talk about it. There's a message board on the side of Merlin's house that posts news. It would appear that many people enjoy scribbling on the back of the message board. Indeed, various things are always written on it. You may want to take a quick look occasionally. Sometimes you'll read interesting news. We're gonna be going around town and talking to everybody who's new, because some of them are. Well, maybe not everybody that's new, but the interesting ones. Have you seen any candy canes? They're those striped objects growing beside Pleasant Path. They're mysterious objects. Nobody knows anything about them. Even I don't. Let's get a knife and cut one open. There are rumors, though. Many believe that if you do something for the candy canes, you'll be rewarded later. Why don't you investigate? He's just talking about running circles around them. In Koopa Village, there lives a selfish village senior named Koopa Koot. This old Koopa Koot stops passerby and asks them for favors, or so I've heard anyway. And yet, they say even if you meet his request, he gives you only one coin. But it's been rumored that every once in a while, he gives out something good. That's what's so frustrating about him is that he probably won't, but because he might, you just want to do it. There are tales of long ago when thieves ruled the far off land of Dry Dry Desert. These robbers collected things from all over the desert and hid them in various places. I've heard of one of these hiding places, a block lying somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. When you hit the block once, a question mark block appears. But that's not all, oh no. When you hit the block 10 times, another question block shows up. This is but one of the rumors hidden uh, about hidden loot in the desert. Thieves thrived there, and I bet they had many hiding places. If you find yourself in dry, dry desert, I would suggest that you take time to look around for treasures. What else? At the edge of Dry Dry Desert, there's a dusty old town called Dry Dry Outpost. Somewhere in this Dry Dry Outpost, there's supposedly a female wizard. If she casts a spell on you, something good may happen during battles. Why don't you give it a try? By the way, this wizard is said to be the twin sister of Merlovely, the fortune teller from Shooting Star Summit. If there's anything else you wish to know, do not hesitate to ask. Uh, oh, he's just repeating things at this point. Okay. At least he's kind enough to tell you when he's repeating favors so that your uh, rusty memory like mine doesn't get the better of you and go, wait, have I already read this? Down here in this house is a collectible that frickin' bothers me. But aside from that, this is one of my favorite little minor houses and I never found this as a kid. Since I worked at the castle, I have nothing to do for a while. You'd think that'd be relaxing, but this house isn't exactly restful during the day. My wife doesn't even have any spare time to spend with me. She works all day cleaning stuff up and dealing with the kids. It must be tough doing all the work. Pfft, whoa! I used to love the annual cooking contest at the castle, but it looks like we won't have one this year. I was sure this was the year I'd beat Taste Tea. Since the castle has gone, Dad is really bummed and Mom seems a little frazzled. I'm kind of happy that Dad's at home now, but I wish we could get him to play with us. I started going to the dojo so I can get stronger and save the beautiful prince. This might be that kid. The kid in the postcard had red spots, but it kind of sounds like it. But my mom tells me I have to behave and stay home. Why is that? Does Goombario mention if your name is Little T? He's a toad kid. Nah, as generic of a toad as they come. Uh, next up, we want to go into the post office. Still determined to get Waluigi's hat back for him. Uh, we've received some mail for Cooper, Colorado's wife. Here you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem t a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you'll have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. Seems that the postman is gone though. Out in his rounds, no doubt. Look at Cooper getting good with Colorado's wife. That's the first step to making him hate you. <laughs> Back at Shooting Star Summit. We've collected an awful lot of star pieces. It could be time to see if we got anything new. Four. Um. Hmm. 
I'm not really sure about this one. I'll take payoff. One star piece, two badge points. I will need some coins for some things. Oh well, at least I was able to add to, to my radical star piece collection. How did I think this guy was older? Maybe just because he was interested in what I thought were antiques, maybe? He really does talk like a child. But I guess when you're a kid, maybe that talk just sounds normal. It's like how if you're British, you don't notice the accent. Or any nationality, really. Next up, we're going south, but not all the way to the station. Hey, mister, my dad's opened up his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's called, it's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. Ooh, I like badges. We have a lot of rare badges, so take a very close look. Ooh, good ones, good ones. First attack, let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. D down pound, disables an enemy's defense power and injures it. It actually is a defense piercing attack. It has kind of a misleading description. And multi bounce, jumps on all enemies in a row if the action command is timed right. Thinking about it, multi bounce is definitely one that I want to grab. I'll buy that right away. And he says that he changes his badge stock occasionally. The badges he sells are random from a pool and based on story progress, specifically every chapter. Leave the area and come back, it doesn't change. Go two screens away and come back, then it does. That is in fact true for everything in this game. D down pound sounds good. Speedy spin makes it so that we increase the distance that Mario can spin dash. Does have positive synergy with dizzy attack, which I do like, but I think I'd prefer D down pound for the time being. Uh-huh, I knew it. That's a good one, you need 75 coins for it. Let's buy. Oh, uh, it doesn't do the bra wow that I like so much. Let's talk to you. Water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Uh, please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, babulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a babulb looks like. If you find a babulb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. And let's talk to you. Ah, lovely minty! The most beautiful flower in the garden! Ugh, creepy! Do you know what you're saying? She's ever so cute! I overheard her wishing her that this town be filled with flowers! My wish is to become a star spirit so I can grant minty's wish! Seeing her happy is all that matters in this world! Uh, okay, buddy, uh, go over there and uh, shoot your juices where I can't see ya. Thanks. We've done pretty much everything I want to do in the northern section of Toad Town, but I thought it would be kind of fun if we see we have better luck with the master now that we are... Um... I'll be right back. Two star points! Woo! I'm just picturing that meme where that guy is celebrating and he's like the third place pedestal. BP up to 15! I hope you understand that with me trying to show every single badge and the strategies with them, it makes extra sense for me to pick these. Plus, with the HP and FP badges, you can take the extra FP and HP if you need to. It's a pretty sound strategy, I think. It goes without saying, we want close call. <laughs> This badge has been so good to me, and it's not even really that reliable, but you know. I'll take a power bounce, and I'll keep power jump on just in case the low FP does that. We got a full star power. Okay. Uh, do I want. I think Bombette is our best single target damage. We've already tattled with the Goombario in the last attempt. It does save. Yeah, I'm here to try. Very well. It's time you fought the master. The most badass fights always refer to themselves in the third person. To battle! A thing to talk about in boss fights. It might seem like Power Bounce does limitless damage, but bosses have a stat called uh, Power Bounce Defense. 
Even if it's timed perfectly, eventually the boss will shake you off to prevent one cycling every single boss in the entire game. It's kind of clever that they do that, to be honest. Uh, I was doing five damage there. This does four for the same amount. So I think I'm gonna conserve my uh, BP and just go for the straight dope, you know? Oh crap, do I have pretty lucky? I think I do. I was really hoping that he'd miss right there so that would answer that question right away. Um, all right, let me see. Um, so the way Power Bounce Defense works is that every single turn, um, you'll get higher and higher chances of missing. So for instance, The first hit uh, might have a 90% chance of hitting, but then the second hit has a 75% chance of hitting, and then the third hit would have like a 60% chance. It goes like that, it's never truly zero, but it can get infinitesimally small, where on some bosses, your chances of hitting a lot of times can end up being essentially one in billions to keep the chances going. It's really, really rough. I'm gonna heal up right here, as early as possible, just so that I can get my FP back. Be efficient with that. Uh, we'll body slam you again. Cool. I have not had Pretty Lucky activate a single time yet. I'm definitely paying for my insolence. I want... I don't want to use items on you as they are permanently used up and this is not a permanent fight. Excellent move, 28. Just in case I die this turn, we're gonna go for a bomb. Bow! Oh, I do five, actually. That is the same damage as that. I might do this fight differently if I did it again. Lucky! Oh, lucky! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Lucky, lucky, lucky! I'm Squidward, Squidward, Squidward! Oh, baby! I... Gosh, do I... Oh, I don't have any HP recovery. Crap. That's actually really bad. I may... I'm kind of wishing that I brought HP recovery now because, uh... I would have a shot at winning this if I did. You have natural talent. It's called luck. <laughs> uh, we got a little closer this time. We'll be back, we'll try it again. You lack strength. <laughs> I somehow doubt that. Did I have pretty lucky on? Yes, I did, it just wasn't activating, okay. That's all I needed to know. Well, we got back to Toad Town. We accomplished a lot within the city limits, and I think we're doing pretty well. Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna go south and explore the new reaches of Toad Town. For now, I'm gonna catch some Zeds. See you guys then. <laughs>